guys, welcome back to my channel and to the very first video of the year. It's crazy that it's already 2021. The holidays went by super fast. Like I feel like we just set everything up for Christmas and then all of a sudden it's over and we're taking everything down. It always goes by super quickly. Um, but anyway, I thought we would kick off the year by doing my final handbag collection video. These are all of my evening handbags. Slowly I've been showing you guys my entire handbag purse collection. I started out with all of my vintage everyday handbags and then vintage inspired handbags. And now we're down to all of my evening bags most of them I want to say are vintage a few are from my grandmother and then I also have a few more like more current bags or like new ones I guess I could say so this massive amazing beautiful trunk that I have right here actually sits at the end of my bed and this is where I store all of my like fancy evening handbags um, and I actually have a bunch of like evening gloves in here as well but that is for a video for another day very first bag that I have looks like this. It has kind of like a 1920s kind of look. It, I don't think it's from that time period. Like it's definitely not that old. Um, I got it at a thrift store. I'm not really sure how old it is to be honest. Like it could be fairly new, but it just kind of has a more like vintage kind of look to it. It has a really small little gold chain, which is actually really important to me. I really like purses when they have really small chains. You guys know I'm not a big crossbody person, but it has all these little white beads and then it has kind of like a little flower patterns all over it, which I think is really pretty. And then it has the little gold clasp and then on the inside it has a well I keep the paper inside but it has this really pretty kind of like satin looking like lining on it really nice it's in perfect condition I wore this for the Gatsby garden party not this past summer because obviously we were in like lockdown but the year before that um, and I just I think it's really really pretty and pretty much matches everything um, the next bag that I have is something a little bit more modern um, I got this for Christmas a couple years ago and it's a little bit more of like a disco kind of bag it has a similar kind of silhouette in the sense that it has the clasp on it but this one actually opens up from the handle it has a really round handle and then it just opens up like that um, it has a really nice like silver kind of interior um, then it closes and then the actual handbag itself only goes up to right there and this is just this really fun kind of like fabric if you can see that it kind of looks kind of weird but it's really fun very like disco very fun to like for like a night out or something like that I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera but this entire fabric is made out of like these really tiny kind of like diamante kind of little things I think it looks really pretty and it's really fun for like a night out definitely something that I would wear if I'm going out for drinks with like friends or something the next bag that I have is a clutch and this one actually belonged to my grandmother and I love this bag I think it's so beautiful it has a very like art deco kind of pattern with the beads there it's all made out of beads and it has this kind of like gold hardware at the top and then it just opens up like this with a little clasp and it opens up like that and then on the inside it's all black it does have a long strap so you could wear it cross body if you want but I just don't I just I would rather hold it and I just think it's so beautiful I feel like you don't really see like clutches like this anymore I'm not really sure what year it's from to be honest like I said my grandma gave it to me so not entirely sure but I just think it's absolutely beautiful this one is actually like a more new kind of bag and this is actually the bag that I used when I went to prom when I went to high school I'm not really sure why I still like hung on to it but I actually wore it for uh, Toronto Men's Fashion Week one of the outfits that I wore it had the same kind of purpley kind of tone so I actually ended up using it anyway the next bag that I have is actually one of my favorites um, and it looks like this it has kind of like a needlepoint background and then it has all the beading on top of it which I think is really really pretty um, I just love it because it has like flowers all over it and you guys know how I feel about flowers I love having anything with flowers especially like needlepoint and then beads and then the gold hardware and then you open it at the top and it has kind of like a white satiny inside which I think is pretty standard for these kind of bags I do like to keep some like acid free tissue paper on the inside of all these bags just to kind of help them keep their shape a little bit so that's just kind of like a tip if you have a lot of these kind of bags the next bag that I have looks like this this one is definitely not that old I again I'm pretty sure I got this from I want to say like a thrift store probably but it's really fun because it's a really nice color it's like a really bright little yellow bag I wish this chain was smaller I should probably just like take some pliers and just make it a little bit shorter I'm not really a big fan of like long chains like this but yeah I should probably do that one of these days I feel like the background of it is yellow and then the beads 
or yellow except for like a little dot on top that makes it look a little bit more gold i'm not really sure if the camera is going to pick up on that it has kind of like this baby yellow on the inside and most of them have like these little pockets so you could put like your lipstick or like coins or something the next bag that i have is this little tiny little vintage bag which i love um, it looks like this it's black and it has all these little like gold speckles and then it has flowers on the front there and like needlepoint and i just think it is so beautiful and i have this memory of my mom telling me that this belonged to my great-grandmother but I wore it the other day and she's like that didn't belong to your great-grandmother and I'm just really confused as to where we got this bag because I've had this since I was really really young like I remember being like six or seven and my mom dressed me up like a flapper from like the 1920s for Halloween or something and I have this bag in the photo and I'm not really sure like where it came from I just think it's really beautiful and I love it but it's really tiny so unfortunately it doesn't really fit many things inside it has this really gorgeous clasp at the top and then you open it and it's just like a black like a plain black interior the next bag that I have is another class beaded bag you guys like this is pretty much this entire trunk is these kind of bags because I love these so much so this one looks like this it's black and it has all these beading on it and it kind of has more of like a shell art deco kind of like pattern on it um, and then it opens up at the top and then the inside is just like a black silk again it has a little pocket um, and this one actually has a brand uh, Caroline Barton not really sure what that brand is like I know I got it at an at an antique market oh my god i said that like five times i really couldn't get that out um but i'm not really sure how old it is to be honest it could be like something a little bit more new that makes it seem like it's a little bit older just based on the design not entirely sure to be honest but it also has a little crossbody strap which obviously i'm never using but i keep it just in case next bag that i have belonged to my grandmother and it is so beautiful i love this color i think it's so stunning it has kind of like a silvery bluey kind of color it's actually the exact same color as my car so um, I don't know it's kind of like this really odd like bluey gray kind of color um, and this one has silver hardware which is fun I feel like most of my other ones have more gold so this one has a bit of a different color if I do want to use more silver like jewelry or something um, so it looks like that and then it opens up and then the interior of this one is like this really beautiful dark kind of like elephant gray um, and this one has a brand as well Elka not really sure um, E L K a I don't know um, but yeah so this one belonged to my grandmother so obviously this is again one of my most prized possessions I feel like anything that belonged to my grandmother I'm like never letting go next bag that we have is probably my favorite out of all of my evening handbags and it is just amazing this one again belonged to my grandmother and it is the most beautiful bag ever like look at this bag it is absolutely stunning it's black brown gold and then it has this really beautiful gold clasp and I love the way that it opens at the top right and it has a little circle there and then it opens up like this like a regular bag and I just think that is such a cute detail I love it it looks like it's almost like a bottle almost like do you know what I mean like I feel like it has a really fun silhouette which I really like um, and this one has a little long strap I'm not a huge fan of long straps I've mentioned that throughout the entire video but I feel like with this bag I kind of have to make the exception because it is just so stunning the next bag that I have is more modern you can definitely tell this clutch is definitely something a little bit more modern it has kind of like a I don't want to say like diamonds because it's not diamonds it's like a like a shiny plastic circles almost to make it look really shiny and I'm pretty sure I got this for I think it was like the queen's plate or something like that like I needed like a really nice bag like a handbag like a little clutch or something um, so this is the one that I ended up choosing and it's like a champagne color it's really nice I mean it's cute and I don't really use it very often but I keep it anyway next bag that I have is also something a little bit more modern you can definitely tell it has like a similar silhouette as the last one and this one I also got for the queen's plate and it's more of like a gold color with all this kind of gold hardware on it and then on the inside it has kind of like a yellowy kind of pastel yellow inside it's really random and i don't think i've used it since then to be honest or maybe i wore it for like an event of some sorts but i really don't use this bag very often i feel like i definitely gravitate towards all of my other bags more so than this bag i have two more bags left here and then i feel like i have like two more in my closet and then another one over there i'll pull them out in a second um but the next bag that i have looks like this this one also belonged to my grandmother i feel like she used it for like a wedding or something it's a gold color and then it has a little handle at the top and I'm not gonna lie like it's not something that I would purchase for myself like I feel like it's not really something that I would 
gravitate towards but it belonged to my grandmother and I'm sure I will put it to good use at some point but it is really pretty I actually really like the color and to be honest if I was between like this bag and this bag I would probably end up choosing this bag them being like kind of similar the next bag that I have looks like this it's kind of like a half circle little clutch and it has a checkered pattern on it which makes it look like it's woven so I love using this bag for like evenings out like in the summertime just because it kind of has that same illusion of like a straw bag um, and then it opens up here it has two compartments and then it has a crossbody strap and again this one belonged to my grandmother if I could guess I'd probably pinpoint this to like the 80s just based on like the silhouette and just like the clasp that it has and I don't know it just I feel like when you look at it you can just kind of tell that it's from the 80s so the next bag that I have I actually probably should have mentioned this in my vintage everyday handbag collection because I would use this in the daytime but it is one of the most beautiful bags it's stunning it looks like this and it's all made out of like these really tiny cream colored beads it almost gives the illusion like it's made out of sand if you know what I mean it has this really beautiful rose pattern on the front as well as on the back it's the same pattern on it and then the clasp at the top is like the scalloped edge and it opens opens up like this and the interior is all like a cream color and I just think it is so stunning I wish they made bags like this nowadays because they're just so beautiful it is a little bit heavy to be honest like for day to day but I just think it's so stunning that I don't even care I'll wear it anyway like look at how perfect this bag looks with this outfit that I'm wearing right now like how stunning is that the next bag that I have looks like this um, and I think it's so beautiful it's probably one of the most unique bags that I have I think um, and it looks like this it has a similar silhouette where it has the clasp at the top and then it has these really beautiful little floral design all made out of beads and I feel like it's kind of reminiscent of like the 1920s like I feel like in the 1920s they might have had a handbag that has these tiny little beads on it and like this kind of pattern it's similar to the other ones that I've shown you but this one is a little bit more of like a round shape it's a little bit bigger so it fits a little more things I can definitely fit my vlogging camera in here so if I am going out on like a night out and I need to bring my vlogging camera with me this is perfect so it'll actually fit on the inside um, and then it has this kind of like long like beaded fringe on it which I think is really fun it has a lot of movement um, and I just think it's really really pretty and I love the color combination and at the top it has a seashell clasp which I think is such a cute detail and it has this really beautiful round little handle which I actually really like I love this detail as opposed to having like the chain on it um, and the hardware on it is like a dark silver color it's not like that shiny like regular silver that you see like this one it definitely has more of like a darker color on it and the hardware also has like this tiny little like detail in the same color as the hardware it's really hard for me to show you on camera right now but it has these tiny little like pattern on it I'm not entirely sure what it is it's like little lines with flowers or something next bag that I have again I should have mentioned this in my vintage everyday handbag collection but I actually didn't have it when I filmed that video so I didn't include it but I'm just going to show you guys now um I got this I want to say at the end of November I think I got it but it looks like this and it is just stunning I love bags like this that have all this like floral detail like it kind of looks like an old grandma's couch if you know what I mean like that is what this looks like to me and I just think it's stunning I love bags like this I feel like they're so beautiful they add so much detail and color to your outfit so I really like them so it looks like this it's a really nice size not too big not too small and then it has a little clasp and then you open it up like this and the interior is all like black and it does have a brand on it La Marquise I'm not really sure but that's just the brand that's on it the bag does seem a little bit older just based on the type of like label that it is and the font that they use but I'm not an expert on pinpointing what like time period bags are in so I'm not entirely sure what year this is from but I only have two more bags left so the next bag that I have looks like this and it is stunning this was actually a gift from my friend Michaela she got this for me for Christmas last year and I am obsessed with this bag I think it is so stunning it's like a satiny cream color and then has this kind of like dark gold hardware on it and I just think it's so beautiful look at all the little beaded flowers all over it like this is me in a bag unfortunately haven't had a chance to wear it seeing as we were in lockdown pretty much for the entire year last year but I'm hoping that this year is the year that I can actually take it out somewhere because it is just way too beautiful to sit in my closet it opens up with the clasp at the top and it's actually very spacious like I feel like the top of it opens up like a lot and then the inside of it is that same kind of creamy color as the outside Side, which I think is really pretty and this actually fits a lot more than you would expect it to like it looks a little small from the outside but then when you actually open it up you have tons of room to fit all your stuff inside and the last but not least is my favorite evening handbag and actually no I feel like this might be my favorite out of like all of my entire handbag collection and it is just 
so stunning. I got it at the movie wardrobe sale, so it is vintage. I'm not entirely sure what year this is from. It could be from late 1940s, early 1950s maybe, like if I could pinpoint it, but don't take my word for it, I'm not entirely sure. So it looks like this and it's like a black patent little bag and it almost reminds me of like a perfume bottle for some reason. I'm not really sure because perfume bottles are not shapes like this but i don't know why it just makes you think of that um so it looks like this it has gold hardware and then it has this tiny little clasp that opens up like this um so then you open it and it actually has a mirror on the inside which is super handy a lot of vintage bags came with mirrors like this and it's a shame that bags nowadays don't come with mirrors but you know it's okay um and then on the inside it looks like this and i just think it's so beautiful i love structured bags i think they are so stunning i've used this once on an evening out and i loved it i felt like so fancy carrying it around i'm like looking at it on the screen there and i'm just like obsessed with how it looks it is so pretty and yeah that pretty much wraps up this video you guys have seen my entire handbag collection from my vintage vintage ones to my vintage inspired ones to all of my evening bags so I hope you guys enjoyed them if you haven't seen any of the other videos I'm going to be linking them down in the description box if you are interested um, and don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos and I'll see you guys next time bye